I have been to a race, Greg. Oh yeah, I went to uh, Monaco this year, so uh, it was quite interesting to see it. Obviously, it's very, very quiet, but um, yeah, it was good to see the cars, and uh, I saw this particular car obviously uh, have a pretty good weekend. Yeah, and generally, it has been a quite good season for us at Scheffler, um, winning the trophy with Lucas. Yeah, but are you a fan coming yeah. from a more of a combustion based series? Yeah, look, when I first saw the concept of Formula E, of course, we were a little bit skeptical, clearly, but uh, we know this type of technology is at a really incredible uh, acceleration curve uh, from, from street cars to, to race cars, and Formula E obviously is fitting that gap. And the range of the cars, the, the speed of the cars, so this is uh, what the manufacturers are looking for. So, uh, as a driver, I'm enjoying it but the really the big token for me was when i was also involved with battery technology in lmp1 so then i saw yep. the the amount of torque the amount of power the four-wheel drive capability of the 919 hybrid porsche which was incredible so uh that was the big box tick for me that um electric is uh still can be sexy so what you can see here are uh, some of our products so on the left side we have a hybrid module which is used for hybridization of yep. existing products like uh, combustion engines yep. combustion cars we have the EXL drives for hybrid vehicles as well as purely electrical ones. Yep. And then for urban mobility, uh, we have our one special. This is amazing, huh? Yeah, it's, wow. it's, it's quite a high level of integration. So what we are doing here and what you can see in the background as well um, is one of our e-wheel drives. Yep. So um, with that, we are integrating all the technology um, that we need to drive an electric car the inverter, the motor, mm. um, as well as all the regular um, wheel components like yeah. a brake and the wheel itself into the wheel. So no real axle either, they win a lot of room, right? Exactly, packaging. that's, that's yeah. the idea. So, so packaging is one of the main benefits. Yeah, so low for people to get in, you can get more people in. I mean, bang for buck, it's, it's a very, very efficient, uh, as you say, package to get people around in. Gregor, this little baby here, what are we doing here? Uh, this is an autonomous taxi, <laughs> actually. Um, so, and as you can see, it can do, turn the wheel 90 degrees, so it can park, uh, parallel park without turning, the, wheel, turning wow. the steering wheel, it just parks sideways. So, um, a lot of interesting stuff in the future for us, um, and we hope to be as successful there as we are in Formula E. And the timeline was 2020, right? So you're looking at this, is, this was uh, for the wheel, I mean, in terms of it's going beyond exactly. series application. So what's your expectation on time frame for this uh, technology? That's, that's a bit complicated, yeah. so we are looking into it right now, but we obviously need the, the right interest from the OEMs yeah, yeah. Uh, to make that happen. Good luck. Thank you. It's great to come here, I mean, the stands, the technology is here. I mean, we can see the, the inbuilt uh, technology in the wheel, for example, with, uh, with an incredible, let's say, a brain of technology inside one wheel, and it can be articulated for very special parking. These type of things, are, I've never seen that before. So uh, yeah, with, with Chevrolet, you really have an incredible uh, opportunity. And they, they, what I like about Chevrolet, they have their eyes open. They are always, always looking for ways to uh, not be disappointed if they have to look for different ways to do things very, very quickly. So they're very uh, open for new ideas and they act fast. Thank you.